This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, September 13th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. One of the things that we do every year is we participate in a themed ministry program called Soul Matters. We uh, participate in that with congregations across the country as we follow a single theme or idea through each month of uh, preaching, small groups, uh, and also these. So over the next um, week and a half or thereabouts, I'm going to take up some of the small group um, prompts for this theme of possibility that we're talking about and work them into the daily updates. So the question for today is, what do you know about the possibilities that live on the other side of grief? So I think grief is a really present part of life for all of us. Grief is complex, unexpected, it is both universal and highly, highly individual. It's particular in its expression and universal in its experience. And it is very present right now in the world and in our congregation. But here's another thing that I know from my experience. When I was growing up learning to drive in upstate New York, um, we were told if you're ever on, on an icy street and the car that you're driving starts to spin, what you will intuitively want to do is straighten the car out to get out of the spin. But in fact, how you get out is to steer into the spin, to steer into the same direction that you're sliding off of the road. and From there, you can regain control. For me, grief and existential anxiety then are often pathways to deeper, deeper meaning making in the world, a, a chance to really lean into them or steer into the spin. Samuel Beckett would say that the line between grief and existential humor is a fine one, and I tend to agree. When we pass through grief, wholly owning it as part of our experience, then we paradoxically are less constrained by it going forward. To put in concrete terms, this month I am grieving the congregational year that could have been. I'm grieving the Delta variant, that we're still online, that we didn't launch two services at the start of the month and pick up right where we were in March of 2020. And maybe that even though it is grief, grief opens me up to ways of thinking about what comes next that I would not have recognized otherwise. Maybe we go forward unconstrained by the understanding of what a successful church year looks like or what worship needs to be because that's how we've done it. Or by how many people need to show up for us to feel good about our community. There's a freedom in that, in the possibilities having moved through grief and out the other side. If these questions are meaningful to you um, over the next week and a half, um, they are the same questions that prompt conversation in our small groups in the month of September. And we'll be doing some work in the coming months to open those up to more folks as well. See you tomorrow.